Hi, my name is Kiara from KDX Electronics. Today I'm going to show you how to use the cycle function of the C5100B in order to measure the usable capacity of a battery. As a battery ages, its usable capacity decreases slowly over time. Although quick sort is a fast way to estimate your health of your battery, the best way to determine this is through a full cycle. In this case, you can use the cycle function. So connecting our adapter, then we connect our temperature sensor to the battery, which connects with just this Velcro here. Okay. And then connecting the flex strip to the USB here. and then connecting the battery to the flex strip. Should be this one right here. It's connected. To perform the cycle function, it is very similar to doing the actual charge function that we just did. So we need to select our voltage again, 3.85. Hit test to confirm. Select our capacity, 3750. So we'll go all the way up there. There we go. Hit test. Now to select the actual cycle function this time. And then confirming our voltage, hit test. Confirm our capacity, hit test. And that should begin the cycle function. So the cycle function runs through a charge, discharge, charge sequence. Uh, it takes about four hours or longer depending on the battery capacity. So longer if you have a larger capacity. When the battery has finished cycling, the ready LED will illuminate and the battery's resistance in milliohms and capacity in a percentage will be indicated on the display. If there was a problem during the cycling, the fail LED will illuminate. If you encounter any error codes during the test, please refer to our user manual where you'll find troubleshooting tips. And that's how you use the cycle function to measure the usable capacity. For more information, check out our catalog, go to our website, feel free to leave a comment in our comment section below, and please don't forget to subscribe. <laughs>